app will follow. And I see that you have a briefing as well. So let's start. Uh, <laughs> okay. The General Assembly adopted a resolution this morning on proclaiming 25th of May as World Football Day. Or soccer, for some of you. <laughs> yes, we do, right? The text was considered under agenda item 11, Sport for Development and Peace, Building a Peaceful and Better World Through Sport, the Olympic ideal. The resolution is sponsored by over 70 member states, acknowledges the global reach of football and its impact in various areas of life, including commerce, peace and diplomacy, and the power that sport has for a space of cooperation. It also welcomes the Football for the Goals initiative, which is a platform to engage with and advocate for the Sustainable Development Goals. In 2013, you may remember, the GA proclaimed 6th April, the International Day of Sport and Peace. And the GA president, Mr. Dennis Francis, received this morning the president of Italy, His Excellency Mr. Sergio Mattarella, at his office before the Italian leader delivered a special address to the General Assembly at the GA Hall. President Francis and the Secretary General also spoke in the meeting. The PGA welcomed the Italian leader and thanked him for the support and the cooperation his country has had with the United Nations, as well as his vision anchored on inclusive diplomacy and dialogue. The PJ highlighted current challenges to global peace and security, including the situation in Ukraine, in the Gaza Strip, in Haiti, in Sudan, among <coughs> other parts of the world. Mr. Francis concluded his remarks by stating that reform is crucial to restoring the credibility and legitimacy of our multilateral system, end of quote. More on the PGA's remarks on his website, www.un.org slash PGA slash 78. And uh, last but not least, yesterday in Washington, D.C., P.J. Dennis Francis took part in the Newsmaker Series event at the National Press Club as the headliner speaker. Mr. Francis delivered initial remarks on the relevance of the United Nations, geopolitical challenges, peace and security, multilateralism, and the upcoming summit of the future. He took questions from the audience and from participants online. The event was broadcast by C-SPAN TV and also by the NPC's YouTube channel. The session with President Dennis Francis was moderated by Ms. Emily Wilkins, who is the Washington, the Washington correspondent for CNBC. Tomorrow, also, the GA will hold an informal interactive uh, dialogue with the candidate for PJ79. We will bring you more information. The meeting will start at 10 a.m. in the Trusteeship Council Chamber and will finish at 1 p.m. We will be back here tomorrow, but for now, this is everything we have. So do you have anything else or any questions? How are you, Amelie? Welcome back. Good to see you. Thanks, Monica. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a question. Do you have any details uh, on the session on Friday, of Friday on the Palestinian question? And especially, do you know if there would be a vote at the beginning or at the end? Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. So what I can say is that, yes, I can confirm there will be um, a session or, or an ESS, an emergency special session, on this issue on uh, at the J Hall on Friday, 10 a.m. You are absolutely right. Uh, we are going working on uh, sending you a list of speakers as soon as we have it. Uh, there is a draft resolution that is circulating, so we know there is a draft resolution. So a resolution will be uh, considered in this meeting. I don't know, I don't have the information if this is going to be appreciated or considered. Uh, the J will take action in the beginning or in the end, but I expect more details um, in the next days. So I will bring that to you. We are briefing here tomorrow and on Thursday as well. Nabil, how are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. to see Go you ahead. Too. So do you have a list of co-sponsors? A list of co-sponsors? Yeah, the, the draft is circulation. I, I don't have a list for you, but um, I can bring more details as soon as we get them. Yes, absolutely. 
Anyone else here? Hey, good to see you. How are you, Benny? Go ahead. Good. Or uh, if you are on the screen, please speak up, okay? Go ahead. Am I on the no, screen? No, I see you here. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm doing so, what we call in radio, you this, know, a kind of a in between, a string, but go ahead. Does the GA president mm -hmm. believe that the GA has uh, the authority to uh, accept a country as a member of the UN? The GA president is a convener, he's a facilitator, and uh, he doesn't get uh, involved in um, negotiation of uh, resolutions or draft resolutions. He also uh, doesn't interfere. This is not his role, but thank you for your question. Go ahead, anyone else here? No? On the screen, I'm looking for Hamid. Ah, Hamid is there. <laughs> Hamid, go ahead, yes. so good to see you. Go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mon. Thank you. Uh, the PGA has been repeatedly calling for a ceasefire. Yes. Now, the two sides of the conflict, assuming there are only two sides, which mm -hmm. is not true, uh, one side accepted the ceasefire and the other did not. In fact, they reacted to the call for ceasefire by Hamas is to invade Rafah. Why the PGA doesn't voice his opinion opposing the operation Rafah now? Well, thank you for your question, and um, I really would like to invite you to uh, go to the PGA's uh, ex-social media account where he made a statement uh, yesterday about that. Hamid, the PGA's uh, position hasn't changed since since 7th of October. You we may recall that he spoke immediately after the attacks by Hamas took place um, on 7th of October last year. And uh, he asked for the immediate cessation of violence. He asked for the hostages to be um, uh, returned a home and uh, to be freed. And also he asked for the uh, immediate, immediate humanitarian uh, aid to get to the Palestinians. So he hasn't changed, he remains very consistent and uh, uh, it's high time that uh, this conflict uh, ends once for all. But thank you very much. Uh, Steph, you follow all the, all the guests. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.